Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. As promised, I'm here today with the other dupe I've been so excited about. Y'all saw the Sunset Palette dupe on Tuesday. So today we have got the dupe for the Lila Palette. This one is called Supernova, again by Bad Habit and found on the Hush app and price point. It is $16 for just this palette or you can get both for $24, making them $12 each, a tenth of the price. Now before I show you this palette, uh, be sure if you aren't subscribed to my channel, you go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to try to get some extra uploads in as an early Christmas present for you guys. And uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that button and hit that bell. And let me show you this palette. <clears throat> so it looks like this, just like the box. It is cruelty free and all that good stuff so you flip it open it's got a mirror and here are the colors it looks almost completely identical to the palette it is duping the lila palette and it is absolutely gorgeous now this look that i have on right now it's a little crazy i wanted to play with some of the brighter colors and there's only a few mattes i noticed that about this palette it's only got four true mattes in it and the rest are shimmers, which is not something I'm typically into, but for $12 and for it to be duping a super expensive palette, I will take it. So you don't have many mattes to play with, so my crease is kind of brown, but I wanted to play with this bright purpley blue color and I was so excited. It's so big my dad. Do y'all see that? I see that. <laughs> so, um... That's the look I made. Uh, Y'all are going to get some swatches and a tutorial, just like we've been doing lately. And uh, yeah, so stick around. I'll do swatches first, then the tutorials. If you're not interested in a tutorial, it's totally fine. You have some swatches in about 20 seconds over there. And um, yeah, so I guess that is it. And let's get you guys over to your swatches. Okay, so we have got the first row. This first color you can't really see. It's kind of hollow. Then the second row has that gorgeous blue and that beautiful pink. And then the last row has got a whole bunch of burnt tones. They're all super pigmented. Uh, these are basically one swap swatches. But uh, so for the tutorial, we are first going to go into a lunar. It's kind of got a gray tint to it. But it was the lightest matte, so I just took that as my first transition shade. Put it all in the crease and blended it in. As always, I have a little more difficulty with my left eye. That is no hate to the palette. That is an operator error every time. <laughs> but I just used that as my transition and it blended out nicely. Then on top of that, I took Interstellar. That is kind of a medium chocolatey brown color. And I just put that a little lower down, kind of in the same area in my crease. And just used it to build up and get a deeper intensity to this look. And I'm sorry, I'm almost out of frame, you guys. I am playing with my angles and my tripod and trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing. But I just took that all over the crease and blended it in and blended it together with Lunar. And once I was done with that, I went into Celestial. That is more of a like burnt copper brown but it's darker so I took that in the outer corner and the outer edge of the crease on a flatter brush and tried to blend it in towards the center just a little bit so that outer corner could be really dark and deep and just to I don't know make everything dramatic because I'm dramatic and that's my favorite thing to do and I also took Celestial and I used that just on my lower lash line and with whatever else was kind of left over on the brush. Then on my finger, I took Andromeda. That is this gorgeous, like, blue-purple. That pigment, look at it. You see that pigment? It is absolutely gorgeous. I took it 
and just laid it down all over my lid, probably on about three-fourths of it, bringing it over to that deepened up outer corner. And I was really feeling myself with this color. It is so stinking pretty, you guys. And it just took a little bit of building up to get the intensity I wanted. Then I went back in with Interstellar. And I used this color to blend out the edges of that blue just to make sure I didn't have any crazy harsh lines and to be sure everything went together. Then I took Sirius. This is the hollow shade that you couldn't really see in the swatches. And I just put that in my inner corner. And I put it in my brow bone just a little bit to add some highlight to this look okay guys so this is the final look I'm definitely impressed with the pigment in this palette you can see that just with the swatches but using it on the eyes it is very pigmented as well which is incredible um, for a $12 price point it's perfect the shades were pretty easy to work with you had to build the mats up just a little bit but nothing too crazy just kind of your average and um yeah, I feel like this palette just performed very well. Again, I don't know how the actual high-end versions of these perform, but for me, this is a really good palette. I see myself reaching for it pretty often. I love to do kind of purpley looks, and I love some good shimmers. So if nothing else, I feel like I will reach for it a lot to get some good lid colors. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all again. Bye, you guys.